All right, so motion blur is a um, option that you can use um, with the movement of certain objects. Um, <coughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a new file. And as an example, I'm just going to draw something very basic. I'm going to draw a ball right here, right here, like this. And we want to create movement with that ball. So what I do, I take the transform layer tool and I go to, uh, let's say, frame 12. And I'm just going to move it up to here. So that way movement is created between frame 0 and frame 12. Now, um, if you would go to preview, which shows how the animation will look like when you export it as a video, um, you can see that during the movement, this ball looks completely normal. Um, but with motion blur, we can uh, change that. So what we do, we double click on the layer and go to motion blur and we click on motion blur on. Now you can change a lot of the things right here, like the frame count and frame percentage, but that doesn't really matter right now. Um, <coughs> um, so what happens if you do that? Um, right now, if you just play it, nothing seems to have changed. But if you would go to preview, you can see it, it gets very blurry. Um, <coughs> but if you go back to frame zero, Um, it's normal um, because uh, with motion blur, the, mo the, the moment you create movement in the object uh, is when um, the blur starts to, to create. And so that way it's, uh, it, you can give a certain look on your animation while moving objects or characters or whatever. So yeah, that's a quick tutorial on how to use motion blur. Um, so anyway, if you have any more questions about it, uh, leave a comment uh, below um, and thanks for watching.